This is Luann. Today's theme is yummy foods. We all should be eating healthy foods. Sometimes it's easier said than done, but grown-ups can help preschoolers make healthy food choices. One way to start is by getting them involved in meal planning and preparation. Children's cookbooks offer simple recipes that make it easy for your preschooler to follow. Check out some of these from the library and let your child pick out some of the recipes. Children learn about food and get excited about food when they help in the kitchen. Your preschooler can do simple tasks in the kitchen like stirring pancake butter, rinsing fruits and vegetables, peeling eggs, and measuring dry ingredients. The bonuses with letting them help you in the kitchen are that you add a little bit of math, like counting the number of eggs for scrambled eggs, or fractions for measuring the amount of flour needed in a recipe. It's also a wonderful way for you to spend time together. When you're planning your meals, include some new foods along with some familiar foods. It may take eight to 10 tries or more for your child to accept a new food. Don't give up. When you are at the store, let your child pick out the fruits and vegetables or other groceries. It will give them something to do and be a part of the shopping experience. Grown-ups, you play an active role and important role in your child's eating behavior. Model healthy eating. Let them see you eating and enjoying healthy foods. Make healthy snacks available like fruits and vegetables and low-fat dairy foods. Teach your child to listen to their bodies. Remind them to stop eating when they're full. Ask them, is your tummy feeling full? As much as you can, enjoy family meals together. Here's an example of a healthy snack that you can make together. It's called Cranberry Nut Crunch from Super Simple Snacks by Nancy Tuminelli. This recipe calls for peanuts, but you could switch out the peanuts for Cheerios or granola cereal. And let your child do the measuring, the pouring, and the stirring, offering assistance as needed. You can store it in a zip top bag or an airtight container. So we have one cup of banana chips. We also have two cups of Cheerios. I opted to use Cheerios today. and one cup of dried cranberries. Mm -hmm. And last, we have one and a half cups of sunflower seeds. So you let them stir it up, mix it all together. Hopefully they'll have fun doing it. Uh, for more information on healthy eating for your preschooler, go to choosemyplate.gov forward slash preschoolers. I hope you enjoy cooking together and thanks for joining me today.